episode three and I'm still kind of sick. I haven't coughed as much today but still more than I'd like. This episode will have me caught up with what is currently released though and this episode is about a newly sober Billy coming back and balancing his artistic calling with his familial responsibility. Daisy finds it difficult to write music when there's expectations. And then Teddy realizes that he can get Billy and Daisy to sing on the same song. Are we getting Daisy's solo album? Because we haven't got that yet. And I would like Daisy's solo album because the whole point is that she has a name that she can bring to the six as well. How's life been going for everyone else? You been good? Cool. Okay, episode three, let's skip the ad and go. Give me a week. <laughs> so much confidence. So we're skipping him in rehab completely. And not some smile like what you've got gas, you know, like a real full human smile, man. Hey. And then Warren's got his... It's not too bad. It's for gun three. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show you this face. Hey, Eddie, Eddie. Sweet Warren. Give me a minute. Got me his daughter. Even Eddie's yeah. trying to be cute. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, and her mom's here. Come on, Mama. Why didn't we get the translation? She's just, she's just in the middle, upset about it. Me? Nah. I mean, hold on to that shit, will be the death of you. <laughs> but he really fucked us over. And he has every right to be mad as well. Oh my god, what are you doing? Right. <sighs> okay. Mood. Teddy said this was gonna happen. Because it's only a matter of time. Sorry. This is new. People being this forward. <laughs> you think this is forward? <laughs> Who's she looking at? Is it Mick Reva? Because he needs to show up at some point. Damn girl. Look at you. How long oh, it? him. Easy job. Please push him in the pool. Fly screens. I've never seen fly screens in an American production before. Finally, a house with some sense in America. It's fly screens on every house in Australia. Are you still going to be called the six? Getting I mean, them. There's four in all life. Like Billy and Camilla? <laughs> she literally said it all up front. I want this life. Aww. It was a confusing time. Turn around! Look me in the eyes! <laughs> Turn around! Say it to my face! <laughs> <laughs> It's all that we've seen, every blood. I can sing almost as good. You haven't heard him sing yet. Can he sing? Now you just need a new bassist. Hold Julia yet. I'm weak. Pick up your kid. Mm hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> she forgives him and he's gonna fuck it all up again. She's so cute with her red dress. Hey, asshole. We got Daisy's record yet? I think we're skipping Daisy's first album.
<laughs> Daisy, you are going to go right here and I feel like Daisy's still set you up. Great. Has she never recorded before? Hello. Hello. She's about to. Could we turn this off or um, give her some space, don't you think? Do you want to go and talk to Deb? Deb is working today. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I love Karen. Oh, she's like, nah, I'm staying. Okay. Oh! I mean, Daisy has some really good points. Close the door. Is there a light? Turn on the light. Yeah. Hello, Tobias. Hello. The fuck is it, Tobias? I'm Tobias. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> well, uh, it's like how Daisy remembers time, everything yeah. about everyone. I know. Ooh, Teddy up in the tension. You also have the. It's already totally a little bit Daisy at that point. A nightmare. Sure. Probably the best day of my life. And as per tradition on these videos, we're gonna try and beat the camera battery. So we seem to be jumping forward in time quite quickly now, because we completely skipped Daisy's solo album. Like it just doesn't exist in this TV world. So, I need to keep separating the TV from the book because now there's events in the book that never transpired in the TV show. Um, Camilla's mum was there and then she just wasn't again. She was there for one whole scene. Eddie getting more and more mad and he has every right to as well because Billy doesn't know what he wants or where he's going and he has such a self-righteous attitude and like Billy was dragging the band down and then Eddie was willing to bring it back up and then Eddie got pushed to the back again. So Eddie has every right to be bad. Daisy when she's like through her book face down on her bed, she's like Ugh. And then Simone's like what are you doing? Daisy, writing. Mood. I really need to get back to my work in progress. But like, words. And then a big change, well, I guess we didn't really clarify in the book, but Simone likes women. So that's interesting. I also feel like we're seeing more of Simone, which is good because I do like Simone. Simone hasn't mentioned her daughter yet, like in the future parts. So we don't know if that's still like her biological daughter or if she adopts. Um, Daisy pushing the dude into the pool. Yes. Sometimes you just want the main character to do the bad thing and then Daisy did it. Thank you. Karen and Graham having a conversation and Karen literally said right up front what she wants. She doesn't want to settle down and have a family and that. She just wants to be free and to create and travel. And then down the line, Graham's still going to get mad at her. Like she told you what she was about to begin with. And then Eddie auditioning to be the front man. Eddie totally could have been the front man. Then Billy and Julia. I was like, we haven't seen Billy hold Julia yet. And then Camilla was like, you haven't held your daughter yet. And then we finally got him holding Julia and then like a cute montage of them being a family. And Julia is so cute. And the family is so cute. And Billy's just gonna fuck it up again. Honeycomb, we got that and the recording of it. I love like the comedy with the band. How like they were watching and then Daisy's like, can we just, do, do we need them here? And then Karen gets the boys out and then's like, nah, but I'm staying. And then Karen and Daisy like share a look like it's, yeah, like it's okay that the girls are in this together. And I love that Karen and Daisy are already building this friendship. Because yes, girls will naturally gravitate towards each other in like a male dominated area and build a friendship. Daisy has some really good points on Billy's writing. Throughout this entire episode, Daisy seemed like really reasonable and everything. So like we're not seeing a lot of when Daisy is alone and she's like doing drugs and drinking heaps and making terrible decisions. So we've seen like Billy's low and then he's coming back up but we haven't seen daisy's low yet so is that going to happen later 
because I still feel like we're seeing Daisy mostly from outsiders' points of views. Yeah, the camera battery died. Because of course, what the hell are we talking about? Daisy! Daisy and yeah, so we're seeing her from more of like an outsider's perspective and we're not seeing the real darkness of her side yet. So we have that to go into. I live near a hospital. Um, but Daisy remembering Tobias's name and then like playing with him, um, that was cute. So it just shows that like Daisy and Billy are two sides of the same coin. They're both super stubborn. They're both super talented. They both think that what they're doing is right. They both get really addicted to things. But then Billy goes into like quiet, I'm right, no one else. Like Billy goes into like quiet, I'm better than everyone else. I'm taking a step back like mode and then Daisy gets like super friendly gets to know everyone and then everyone like loves her while it, people hate Billy even though that they have the same base like thing. Teddy, love him um, even though I know what's gonna happen to him in the end so it seems to happen later but yeah Teddy really is like the father of everyone Rod Timothy, Timothy Oliphant, he's in the main credits, but we haven't seen him since like, we saw him like in the tiniest bit. Is he gonna become even more prevalent because I feel like his part isn't big enough that he warrants a part in the main credits. And then yet yeah, more about loving Teddy because he like upped the tension and the drama by putting Daisy and Billy on the same mic. It's genius move. But also, like, it speeds things along and they're gonna... And then the way that Billy and Daisy described the experience, Billy was like, it was a nightmare. That's Billy falling for Daisy and he doesn't want to. And then Daisy was like, it was the best day of my life. And that is Daisy falling for Billy. Does she even know he's married yet? Because Camilla wasn't there and they didn't really... She said she doesn't know anything about him. But yeah, now Daisy and Billy have met and we've upped the tension on them already and they're gonna go down their whole thing and they're gonna still feel really bad for Camilla but I love Camilla and I love Daisy. Billy... the Billy's the problem. I reckon Daisy and Camilla would really get along if they didn't have the drama that is Billy. And then we have the beginnings of Karen and Graham happening. We only have like seven more episodes to go, so we've got to get them going. I love the spark of friendship starting between Daisy and Karen. And then we have Warren and Eddie off to the side. You can see Eddie getting more and more mad and Warren just being unproblematic. I really hope we get Warren's like girlfriend, who ends up being his wife, showing up soon. But yeah, overall, I just have to forget plot points that happened in the book. Apparently they're not happening in the show, but like all of the plot points that are happening in the show did happen in the book. It's just less plot points. Comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was and please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see all of my forthcoming videos on Daisy Jones and also Shadow and Bone because that starts like really soon. And if you just wanna let me know you were here, leave me a musical emoji down below and check out some of my other videos. And now I have a few days break, so hopefully I'm not sick the next time I'm filming a video.